hello again now i'm going to take a simple login example <coughs> in which uh, a string which we are going to authenticate the user using a simple string so if the username and password both are string we can authenticate the user so suppose we we have a f this is the basic html page as form so basically form is uh, used so that we can process the further uh, output so in this there is an attribute named as action so we can see that uh, as previously we have made this new servlet.java in which we have written the action as log so in which the new servlet.java is mapped using web.xml so let me show you first the web.xml file in this you can see the servlet code in this the url pattern log is mapped with the servlet class new servlet.java so in new.jsp we can see action log so whenever this input submit button so this input type submit will create a button in the jsp page so after entering your name and password and hitting the submit button the url will be redirected to the log and its method is post post method is post method generally is used when you have to hide the data from displaying it to url so usually when you we will use this kind of forms in which uh, login is uh, login is used we need to hide the data so that nobody can use or see the username or password so this is the basic html file written in jsp so, uh, that will so let's try to run this first for running just uh, for running the whole project starting from this file you you have a shortcut key as shift f6 or you can just right click on the file and run file now you can see uh, the login page is created name password and a submit button is there this is name and password both are text fields and after submit button the url watch the url carefully now it's on new jsp.jsp after hitting the submit button the url should change to uh, that is after new.jsp it should go to log so for that first we have to write the servlet so let's see the servlet coding go to new servlet.java import all these four packages sql.star is not needed import java.io.star for basic input output operations if required import java x dot servlet dot star this is uh, java x stands for the extended version of java and java x dot servlet dot http dot star now write a class public class new servlet it must extend http servlet in this you can see that in new dot jsp we have written the method post if you write the method post here it is compulsory to override the method do post do post in this servlet now this do post is an is met this method comes with two parameters that is http servlet request and http servlet response this is this this method throws io exception and servlet exception so put this whole code in try catch 
now we need to now we need to fetch the username and password typed by the user on the jsp page or the web browser to this java file for this we have a method in http servlet request that is request dot get parameter name now this get parameter you uh, accepts a string objects now this string must match with the input tag name that is the name of the input tag here the name of the input tag the name of the input tag is name here and it is same in the servlet file you this ret returns a string object so i have used a username as a string to store the whatever the username is typed by the user in the jsp page again uh, request dot get parameter dot pass and we have stored it in the password now we have to just write a simple if else condition if username now you can use the these two strings as uh, we, now we can use these two strings to authenticate the user if username dot equals student and password dot equals students so dot equals is a method to compare the two strings so student if the username and password both are student now we will redirect the user to a new page that may be your home page of your project that is that will be a response sent from the server the username and password written by the user are fetched as a request by the server and in response we are sending a html page or a jsp page now if the user is authenticated we are sending index.html file by the method response.send redirect else response.send redirect if the user is not not authenticated he will go to new jsp 1.jsp and the exception if there will be an exception it will be caught now let's see what is index.html and new jsp 1.jsp these are simple html tags if the user is authenticated we will write successfully logged in a student and if user is not authenticated we will say invalid username or password so let's run the whole code again go to your first page and hit shift f6 or just right click and run the file while i am running the file please have a uh, eye on the url also so first let's say username any false username so let's say teacher and password be anything suppose one two three four five hit submit button now you can see it's showing invalid username or password now you can see the url from new jsp it has changed to new jsp dot one let me do it again teacher one two three four it's now new jsp after hitting submit button it is new jsp dot one again go back now try hitting the right username and password its name is use student and password is student hit the submit button something went wrong i misspelled the student that's it so now you can see 
you are successfully logged in as student now if you see the url it's index.html so well congrats you have successfully made a logged in page which will authenticate the user just by the string if the string is matched the user is authentic authenticated otherwise not thank you